Also tonight, a wanted man with a gun who ran from deputies into a Salem neighborhood sent four Salem schools into lockdown today. This all started around noon in the area of Elma Avenue Southeast and Munkers Avenue. The lockdowns at the schools have been lifted, but the search continues for that suspect. Our Amy Frazier is live in Salem with the latest on this. Amy. Dan, I can tell you this remains a very active scene right now. Police are really focusing in on the street behind me. We're on Glenwood Drive Southeast near Elma. A SWAT team vehicle was just brought in a little while ago. We're told they're checking out a home that's under construction here where the suspect possibly could be hiding. Take a look. This is the man that police are looking for. He is 38 year old Robert Stephen Daly. He's wanted on a parole violation around noon today. Corrections deputies spotted him on a walking path in this neighborhood. When they tried to take him into custody, they say he pulled out a gun and fled into this area where there are really a, a ton of homes. Police from multiple agencies, including canine teams, have spent hours looking for daily as a precaution. Four schools in this area were in lockdown for about three hours. Again, those lockdowns have now been lifted. For the most part, people have been allowed to come and go from their homes, but they have been advised not to linger outside for their own safety. So if they spot him, definitely don't confront him. I would encourage them to call 911 right away and put themselves in a safe location while law enforcement can respond to that little area. Daly is about six feet tall and 200 pounds. He was last seen wearing blue jeans, a dark colored jacket, and a blue hat. I can tell you he has an extensive criminal record, including arrests for criminally negligent homicide, drugs, stealing a car, and unlawful use of a firearm. Back here live, you can see the scene here remains active. One thing that stands out about him is that he has a tattoo of a teardrop on his face. Again, if you see him, you're told to call 911 immediately. They say he is armed and dangerous. We'll keep you posted on this developing scene. Reporting live in Salem, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Thanks, Amy.